people of the purple butterfly here. Otherwise known as people of seven on Twitter and YouTube, people of elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com and my shows can be located at purple butterfly shows which is people dot etsy dot com. And as you can tell I'm in the home stretch of the million breaks. Um Everybody keeps making fun of me. You're not gonna keep those in ten days. You're not gonna keep them in a week. So forth and so on. And yeah, I do have a history of going through all this work and taking it down. But <laughs> that don't mean I want them to make fun of it. Anyway, it's a good look and hopefully I will have the patience to let it stay in there for more than a day. <laughs> I'm aiming for 30 days. Anyway, I come to give you a update of sorts. Uh, one on the mica line soap. It was basically taken out the mold too early. I put it back in the mold. I compressed it with 180 pounds. In other words, I covered it with some plastic wrap. I put the handle on top of it, and I stood on it using uh, my cane and a chair, and I just put all my weight on it and then moved my feet over, 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 back, you know. But it has proven to be... Uh, more together. It's solidified a little bit more just from the samples. I'll know more when I take the actual soap out of the um, mold, but that's not going to be tomorrow. I'm going to have the patience of Job with this thing, which I was supposed to do in the first place. I mean, I even said I'll let it sit for two days, and then 12 hours later, I was trying to rush the issue. <laughs> I do that. Anyway, let me get that clip out of there. Those things can hurt. Anyway, the Mig Sig battery. I used this thing all day yesterday. I used it promptly at 6 o'clock. It's 6.52 right now because the first thing I do in the mornings, usually on my way to work, and I haven't been there in a while, but, you know, on my way to work, I'm usually taking a puff of a cigarette, in this case, a e-cigarette, and do it there. This battery, I mean, I'll just go there. This battery usually doesn't last me past the morning. It's like, you know, if I remember to charge it, you know, then I will puff it until it literally puffs out, and then I'm on to the next battery because it doesn't last long. And it's just crazy. It's like, okay, charge that up so that way in the morning you can get your nicotine fix and then put it on the charger. You know, I even have a car adapter for my mix stick charger, so that way when I'm in the car, because, you know, that battery don't last long, and I want a cigarette, but I'm not going to use nicotine cigarettes. In other words, the standard delivery system cigarettes. No. So since I'm using a electronic format, you know, you have to make sure you still get your electronic sticks. Otherwise, you might do something silly like go back to regular cigarettes, which I'm never going to do again. So to my surprise, it not only lasted past, you know, midnight and past my morning rush, it's still good. You see what I'm saying? And one thing I noticed, if you just stick it in your mouth, like when you're doing stuff, and that's traditionally how I burn out half my cigarettes, 
This not only does it not burn out because you didn't activate the battery to activate the vapor, but you can still go and fill the nicotine in there and get that taste. So since a lot of times the taste is what I'm after, I don't even have to, you know, push the button and get the vapor. All I got to do is, you know, it tastes almost like a peppermint. And if I want to do a direct puff like I just did, it's not harsh. And if I want to do the vapor thing where I'm taking in a lot and then just releasing, that's good to go. So. You know, and it smells almost like a candy. It's not a peppermint scent. It's more like a, um, have you ever went downstairs on Christmas morning and there's these hard candies, um, Christmas candy? It has that kind of a scent to it. Yeah. It's like a Christmas candy scent. But it has that peppermint. It's not the heart. It doesn't taste like toothpaste. Usually, I mean, this thing here that I didn't like, and I'm still giving these away to the first person to say they want them, it tasted like somebody mixed mint with toothpaste and a cigar. And, of course, they sit over there because I'm not going to use them. That tasted awful. But, you know, give these a try. In the meantime, I've noticed that around 7 o'clock in the morning, all the noise stops, the phone doesn't ring, so forth and so on. So that's going to be the time I'm going to cut myself so that way the phone doesn't go crazy and no one's going, hey, help me with this and do this and do that. Because, you know, they're in a rush to get going to do their various activities. And I also notice that's the one time a day that I'm not really loopy. It's like I still get that dizzy going from the meds, but I'm clear of thought. I'm thinking that medication is also affecting, I mean, come on now. I got enough brain damage on my own. I got enough goofiness on my own. You add that combination of medicines, and I'm just loopy for shooby. That's not a good look on me. <laughs> so, while I'm over here, you know, clear of thought, I'm doing my review and everything, so forth, so on. And then when I get my balance, because, like, I can't even leave my room without this darn thing. It sits literally right next to me on my bed. So when I get my balance going, so forth and so on, and I'm ready to cut the soap, and I test it first to make sure that it's going to hold, then I'll be cutting the sweet coffee with gold soap again. So, I'm thinking since it has hardened up, so forth and so on, and I do need to give it time to do that, I'm just going to finish braiding my hair. I only have this section. Well, actually, I covered that up so you can see it. Hold on. From here to here, and that's in... One, two, three, four, five sections. So basically about six hours worth of work because I'm not going to rush it, especially since I'm on the front where, you know, I already did this part of the front where the parts had to be absolutely even. So the middle part can be a little bit, you know, doesn't have to be perfect, so forth, so on, and just got to get done. So that's all I have to say about that. If you don't have a mix get you one. 
if you can't afford a kit, because Lord knows my finances aren't where I would like them to be, do like I did. I bought the paste. That was 10 bucks. Then I switched out the cartridges, which actually was cheaper than the cartridges I had, but I didn't realize it at the time. But the cartridges, boom, there's five of them in there. That can be replaced with some e-liquid. I'm switching out this e-liquid. I don't like this one. This is the original. But, you know, I basically did everything in shifts. This was the last purchase concerning that I bought, and that was the battery. The cartridge, as you could tell, you know, and that's a good size battery. The dark didn't last for a long, long, long time. In fact, I stuck it on the charger for the simple fact that I'm thinking, oh, it's going to run out, and it didn't. I stuck it on there. I'm like, well, it didn't turn red. What's going on with this charger? Because usually it turns red while it's charging, and then it turns green when it's ready. And it was sitting there like, uh, why are you charging me, Mommy? I'm done already. So I'll wait till it turns to, you know, a red color or give me the indication that it needs to be charged. And then I'll sit on the charger and see how long that takes. But... It's been over 24 hours, and I haven't had to recharge this thing at all, which is, <laughs> my brain can't comprehend that. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm three times the size of your battery, and I got three times as much juice. So, anyway, that's all I have to say about that. I'm going to make some coffee, and... Basically hang out for an hour because mom has an appointment at, well, 9 o'clock, but she wants me to wake her up at 8 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock, and I know me well enough to know if I go to sleep right now, she ain't going to get up for her appointment. <laughs> so I'll be like, and you know I'm not kidding even a little bit. <laughs> Y'all stay blessed. Stay tuned. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Buy some soap from me at peepla.etsy.com, Purple Butterfly Soap. I have other items on my Etsy as well. And my blog is purplebutterfly-peepla.blogspot.com. Oh, and I noticed that um, graphic that I put on my blog, it auto updates. The picture that's on Facebook is stuck at the time I put it there so it reflects my quit date so forth so on. But the uh, one that's on the blog updates itself so it states that I have been nicotine free for thirty five days and I've avoided this many cigarettes at this cost. That thing is awesome. They should have a format where you could update it like that on Facebook without having to go through the whole thing. But anyway, we won't ramble. Y'all stay blessed, stay tuned, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.